Today we're gonna to be talking about this wall right here. So now if you guys watched my very first YouTube video on this channel, I talk about having a project that was unfinished. Well, this is pretty much it. So this is my seamless paper backdrop. It comes in about three parts, but I only have two of those three main parts, right? And here's why. I ordered a metal tube that's supposed to go in the middle of the actual backdrop that ended up being too large for this space, right? So when I would look at the box, it showed that it had three metal tubes in it and they've all measured a little under four feet. So I thought that, boom, there it goes. I, can, I have three metal poles that are roughly the size I need and I'll be good to go. But I didn't read the full description of that metal pole. It was three segments that's supposed to connect together and up being 118 feet, a little bit over 90 feet, and that's too big for this particular space. So the first and main part of this particular setup is the actual wall mount, right? So this wall mount comes with the main mount, the two main mounts with the hooks. It comes with the, the pulley system, as well as the holders for the actual seamless paper backdrop. Now, the second part of the setup will be the actual backdrop, right? So I have the black, the tan, and the gray. Now, what I also end up doing is going to Lowe's, trying to find metal conduits that roughly matches the actual size, but they end up being two inches in diameter, which is the same diameter of the actual paper backdrop tube. So again, I was in a pickle. Yeah, so what I ended up doing, I just say F it, I went and just mounted on the wall and it, it stayed up, it's secure, it's pretty, it's pretty sturdy. So only thing I'm really worried about right now is the inevitable creasing of the center of the paper. So that's a no-go because that will literally destroy the background. But hopefully we can find a solution to that issue. If you guys have a setup similar to this or know exactly how I can find the correct metal tubing that can fit a five inch space, I mean a five feet space, I'll be greatly appreciative. All right, go ahead down in the comments, let me know what you think, let me know your suggestions, let me know any ideas you might have to fix that issue that's gonna be a major problem in the future. Now the installation of this particular backdrop was pretty easy, it wasn't crazy, but we did run into some problems, right? So while setting this up, we looked in the box and we saw that the, the box included some wall anchors that was not meant for this particular space, right? So this wall anchor here is a wall anchor that's meant for concrete or a brick wall, right? Obviously you can see we have regular drywall and that was a no-go. So I had to head over to Lowe's, right? While looking for that metal piece or metal tube that I needed and I picked up some wall anchors. So the correct drywall anchors rated for about 45 pounds and it comes with a drill bit that's the correct size of the screws that you're gonna need to mount it on the wall. So this was a lifesaver. So aside from those wall anchors that you're gonna need, you're gonna also need to get yourself, one, a tape measure, two, a nice drill, right? So this is not the drill that I used. The drill that I used was a little bit more powerful from this one. I suggest you get in a mini drill or a drill that's not too powerful to where you can accidentally thread the screw. So this one, works like a charm. And don't worry, I'll make sure to include all of the products that I use in the description. Also, quick tip when buying a particular backdrop wallpaper, get the correct size for the space that you need, right? So this is um, four feet, five inches, so roughly 53 inches is the size of each of these backdrop. They also come in, I think, 118 or 110 inches, so roughly the, the nine feet range. And I think there's a smaller than 53 inches option, right? Four feet option. So I'll make sure you go ahead and choose the correct size for the space you need, as well as the correct metal tubing for the particular size. So I hope that helps. So the main thing that complete this space is this actual desk right here. So if you guys remember watching my very first YouTube video on this channel, if you haven't already, go ahead and check it out. I mentioned having this desk in this storage space right here. So you can go ahead, take off the top, collapse the legs and fit it right in this space with no problem, right? With no issue. And it completes the spot. So it's not only functional, it's decorative and it looks sleek. So I think this project was a success. So I, I can't say success, what the hell? So I think this project was a success. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Also, if you guys want me to talk about more about what's in my storage unit, my closet in the office, let me know. I got some hobbies outside of content creation and gaming, right? And they're here, I have a range bag, some range equipment. So if you guys want me to go ahead and, you know, make a video about what's in my range bag, let me know down in the comments. I can go ahead and get that done. It's fun. I know everyone has a hobby outside of content creation or creating content. So let me know what's yours down in the comments. Of course, guys, until next time. Peace.